Now that you've set up your power lap and calibrated your gas analyzer, we're ready to set up the Douglas bags. Each of these racks has four Douglas bags. They're color coordinated, so red at the front, blue, yellow, and green. And they're all connected together by this plastic tubing. You'll notice that each of these Douglas bags has a tap at the top. When the tap is horizontal, the bag is sealed and no air can pass either in or out. However, when I turn the tap to the right, I open it so the air can pass in or out freely. If I want to use the blue Douglas bag, I ensure that the red bag is sealed and I open the blue bag. If I want to use the yellow bag, I ensure that both the red and the blue are sealed and I open the yellow bag and so on and so on. At this point you should make sure that there are no obvious leaks. So, make sure that the plastic tubing is all tightly connected and that each of these four Douglas bags are tightly connected to their tap. In addition, you'll notice at the front these small taps on either side. The red, blue, yellow and green taps should all be horizontal and the white taps should be vertical. The next thing you need to do is check that all of your Douglas bags are empty. To do this, you're going to need a piece of this uh, plastic tubing. Place one end of the plastic tubing on the Douglas bag and place the other end on the inlet valve of the dry gas meter. Ensure that your Douglas bag is open and switch the vacuum pump on. When the Douglas bag is empty, make sure that you shut it before you switch off the Douglas bag. This creates a vacuum in the bag and prevents the backflow of any air. If I want to empty all four bags, I can do this without switching the vacuum pump on and off each time. Just open and close each bag as they empty. Now that you've uh, emptied your Douglas bags, you're ready to perform a volume calibration. A volume calibration is a check that the dry gas meter accurately measures the volume of air that's in the bag. In order to do this, you're going to require the Hans Rudolph 3 litre calibration syringe. Take the end of the plastic tubing from the top of the, from the inlet valve of the dry gas meter and attach it to the calibration syringe, ensuring that the Douglas bag remains sealed, fully withdraw the plunger, open the Douglas bag and then reinsert the plunger. Seal the Douglas bag and you can now be confident that there is exactly three litres of air in the bag. I'm going to repeat this a couple more times so that there are nine litres of air. It's important that each time you withdraw the plunger, you ensure that the bag remains sealed. Otherwise, you're withdrawing air back out of the bag. So now that the arm is, the plunger is withdrawn, open the bag, pump three litres of air in there, seal the bag, open the syringe, open the bag, and pump another three litres in. Now that I'm confident that the Douglas bag contains exactly 9 litres of air, I can check the accuracy with which this is measured by the dry gas meter. Take the end of the plastic tubing that's attached at one end to the red Douglas bag and that's just been attached to the Hans Rudolph syringe and attach it to the inlet valve of the dry gas meter. Press reset and ensure that the digital display reads 0, 0.0 litres. Open the Douglas bag and switch the vacuum pump on. When you do this, you'll see the digital display increase from 1 litre, 2 litres, 3 litres and so on, and it'll stop just above 9 litres. Make sure you make a note of the value at which the digital display stops, because this is the volume of air that's been measured from the Douglas bag. It's important that you make a note of this before you shut the Douglas bag and turn the vacuum pump off, because when you shut the Douglas bag, more air will be drawn out and that number will, uh, will increase. Okay, so interestingly, the volume of air that was measured
measured was 9.7 litres. So this is 0.7 litres greater than what I know is actually in the bag. The reason for this is that this plastic tubing contains about 0.7 litres of air. It's not that the dry gas meter is inaccurate. If you want to check this assumption, you can repeat this process with different volumes of air in the bag, 3 litres, 6 litres, 9 litres, 12 litres and so on. And you should find every time that the volume of air measured by the dry gas meter is about 0.7 litres greater than that in the bag. We can use this information later on when we're measuring the volume of air that our participants has expired into the bag by subtracting 0.7 litres from the value that is shown on the dry gas meter.